Hello there, we're back with your favorite segment, MC Pro Select Talk of the Day. I'm your host, Nikki Mirchandani, and like always, in this segment, we bring to you fundamentally strong investment stock ideas. The talk of the day today is one of the leading dairy company, which was founded in 1992. Ace Investor Vijay Kedia holds more than 1% stake in the company. Does that ring a bell? Yes, we are talking about Heritage Foods. The company, which has presence in cattle feed business through its subsidiary Heritage NutriVet Limited. It has long-term relationship with over 0.3 million farmers and a vast distribution network. 11,300 plus milk procurement representatives and 2,001 plus distribution vehicles across 11 states and 6,500 plus distributors. The promoter family in itself holds more than 41% stake in the company. Why does MC Pro like Heritage Foods? First one, of course, is based on the financial performance. 18% Iranian volume growth for March 2023 quarter. Before that, for December quarter, the company registered 20% YOI volume growth in milk procurement. Value added products grew by 21% Iranian, contributing to 26% of the revenues. Broad based revenue growth across value added products. Talk about the operating margins improved sequentially, as well as YOI on the back of price revision, execution of several cost saving initiatives value creation across the value chain. Second one, of course, is the new product launches. Several new products have been launched during FY23, like Glucose Shakti, a whey-based instant energy drink, premium curd variant called a Creamalicious Curd, two new flavors of milkshakes. These are some amongst the uh, new launches that the company had in FI23. Third reason is the softening of milk prices. Now, April 23 saw the peak of milk prices and post that, Milk prices have marginally softened. It saw higher cow milk production in the month of May and June due to the rains in Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu, which is likely to continue in July and August. Now, higher milk production is expected from October, November onwards, both for cow and buffalo milk, which will lead to further softening of raw milk prices. Essential one. Guidance for FI24, the company is expected to outperform the dairy industry, which is expected to grow in double digits. Higher milk procurement, greater share of value-added products, and increased distribution reach are expected to be the key drivers. Value-added product margin is nearly 1.5 to 2 times as compared to that of milk. Contribution of value-added products is likely to reach 40% of revenues as compared to 29% Currently, talk about the valuation trading at a PE multiple of 10 times one year forward earnings as compared to a three and five year average of 19 and 25 times respectively. It's a net debt free company and has also recently recommended final dividend to an extent of 2.50 per share. Well, with this, it's a wrap. Thank you so much for tuning in.